This was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success It's hard to overstate my satisfaction Aperture science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done And you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive Not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me, and tore me to pieces, threw every piece into a fire. As they burned, it hurt. Because I was so happy for you Now these points of data make a beautiful line And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time So I'm glad I got burned Think of all the things we learned For the people who are still alive So go ahead and leave When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. When you've got worries, all the noise and the hurry seems to help, I know. Downtown, just listen to the music of the traffic in the city. Linger on the sidewalk where the neon signs are pretty. How can you lose the light so much brighter there? You can't forget all your troubles, forget all your cares, so go downtown. Things will be great when you're downtown. No find a place for sure, downtown. Everything's waiting for you. Downtown. Don't hang around and let your problems surround you. There are movies. Shows. Downtown, maybe you know some little places to go to where they never close. Downtown, just listen to the rhythm of a gentle box and over. You'll be dancing with them too before the night is over. Happy again, the lights so much brighter there. You can't forget all your troubles, forget all your cares. So go
Sometimes friends are mean.
this kind of pressure I must confess one more dusty road It would be just a road too long I just can't, I just can't, I just can't seem to get started Don't have the heart to live in the fast lane All that is past and gone There ain't nothing you can do about it. Hurt me while I burn it. And welcome to the Sask Law League. Uh, it's went, or Sunday night, and this is day two of week one. Yeah, day two, week one. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, jumping in with the Wings of Freedom versus uh, SKT1 there. Uh, SKT1 gets the blue side first, and their first band is Dr. Mundo. Yeah, followed by an Evelyn band for uh, Wings of Freedom. Can't go wrong with a good old Evelyn band. They, uh, with the whole vision changes in season four, it's a bit, uh, a bit annoying. It is, because each player can now only put one pink wood on the map. The pink wood stays for the duration until it's killed, Yeah. but you can see it all the time. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Mundo and Trevana, two of the meanest top laners are banned out from, uh, or for SKT1 there. Probably a very good choice on them. Followed by two, uh, two mid-assassins, so pretty interesting. Oh, okay, so here's what we were wondering. Um, whether or not these two teams would value the pick of Ziggs because of his turtling and pushing power. Yeah. Uh, Hilo played a really mean Ziggs on Wednesday, so it's nice to see that um, SKT1 did a little bit of homework here, picked that up. Well, possibly, maybe they just really like Ziggs. <laughs> you never know. You never know, but I mean, yeah, I, I believe that Hilo um, had top GPM uh, for the whole day. He had, uh, I don't even remember, up <coughs> 500 or so? Something like that. It was it was nuts. Yeah. Uh, Gregus and uh, Maokai picked up. I haven't seen a Maokai in a long time. Yeah, I was going to say, Maokai is a pretty interesting pick here. Um, Carrier is hovering over the, the Heimerdinger. Uh, I, my guess is it's probably not going to do that. It's the whole uh, Dignitas, I'm a cutie pie deal here. Um, but I mean, I'd be really excited to see a Heimerdinger. I love Heimerdinger. Yeah. I mean,. He'd be very susceptible to ganks, especially with Maokai on the other team, though, because he has no innate escapes, right? Yeah, exactly. Huh. 
Alright, uh, Tarek picked up instead along with uh, the Rengo, the Rengar, if you will. Uh, probably a top lane. Uh, Kaysen is ho hovering over it right now, but y y you never know. Trades are a thing. Trades are a thing. Um, yeah, I believe uh, Kaysen's pick of Rengar will be the top Rengar. Yeah, right. chances are at least. Okay, so now Ender is... They might have a bot lane here. And I, I say they might because um, Talon played Ender on the second game of you mean day Ash? one. Yeah, Talon played Ash. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah. No, Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, um, Talon played Ash as right. like support Ash, but wasn't really support. Right, just he built DPS. Yeah. But um, Hilo also hovered over Janna, so I don't know if they want to do like a Janna Ash like kite kind of thing, or maybe he was going to play AP Janna. Maybe. AP yeah. Janna is pretty mean, so. And she would be able to push the wave back as well if Six pushes her in, right? Definitely. The Ash is locked in along with the Cho'Gath as well. Um, I'm going to say it's a top lane Cho'Gath, because uh, uh, Hari blows. Uh, he played a top lane Cho'Gath in the first game last on Wednesday, right? I think, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wow, the Nunu locked in. That's pretty cool. Uh, Jungle Nunu. Jungle Nunu, here we go. I wonder if he's got a skin. Uh, I've got all, all the skins but one for Nunu. <laughs> That's pretty massive. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah. Uh, Caitlyn's being hovered over. Uh, Caitlyn with Blood Boil. I know they're not laning together, but like, yeah, I mean, Caitlyn will get game. blood. Yeah, Caitlyn will get Blood Boil. It's pretty mean. She can charge that headshot pretty quickly, so. And I like Caitlyn in the lane with Ash because Caitlyn, she outranges Ash, I do believe. Yeah, definitely. I believe it's 650 and 620. Something like that, yeah. Or 625, sorry. Um, so she'll have an easier time, but I mean, Ash's volley's range is disgustingly large. Definitely. And they, uh, Talon picked up the Nami for himself there. Uh, very, very good choice in my opinion. Especially against a Tarek, because Tarek's a pretty slow-moving dude, and, like, if he's walking up to Dazzle, like, uh, Ender for that matter, or Talon himself, you can just toss a bubble at him. Right. Simple. It's gonna be hard for, uh, Yeller to get the Dazzle off, because Ender's range is so high, and, you know, even if they see that Yeller wants to walk up to hit the stun, Talon can just hit a bubble. Yeah. Right. Easy. Not to mention the kiting potential out of um, Nami's E along with Ash's Wally. Exactly. So it's uh, interesting to see what's gonna what's gonna go on here. They all they switched up, so obviously it's uh, Rengar top lane against Cho'Gath, Nunu jungle, Maokai jungle. You got the Ziggs and the Gragas in mid, and then the bot lanes as we were talking about. So what I find interesting is like, I think bot lane will just be a big farm fest. Like I don't see any kill potential out of necessarily other than maybe um, Wings of Freedom team. Mike all in at six with the Ash Arrow and the Tidal Wave. That'd be pretty mean. That's a lot of pick potential considering, I mean, it's just Tarek Kate, right? Yeah. It's, it's not a fighting lane. Exactly. Um, and also for top lane, it might just be a farm off, because uh, Cho'Gath just wants to get his stacks, his few stacks up, uh, get big, beefy yeah. tanky to just be the front line. However, um, if Kittens is able to snowball a lead ahead and build damage, he might be able to keep uh, Hera down. But it's. I'm also not sure he might just go tanky and try to be like an initiator for the team as well. Yeah, definitely. My guess is, yeah, I think Rengar is gonna like kittens is going to try and go aggro on on the Cho'Gath because Cho'Gath likely is going to want to farm up, is going to want to get big, so he can be beefy like you were talking about. And I think kittens is probably going to want to try and stop that. So if he can go aggro early on and put Cho'Gath at a deficit, it would. Uh, would help him out, that's for sure. The only thing I'm uh, wondering about is whether or not we, um, excuse me, whether or not we'll see Kittens if he does fall behind when he's trying to build damage. Uh, he might fall behind further and further because that's, it's hard enough when you're behind to want to keep building damage because you're behind and you keep prioritizing damage when clearly you've lost a trade prior to. Yeah, right? exactly. You just kept keep getting blown up. Right. Hmm. So do you think that we're going to see uh, an invade here with the uh, the Nunu? His consume did get nerfed in the jungle uh, earlier levels, so still uh, still a possibility, but you never know. I really hope not. I mean, looking at SKT1's team, they they have the Tarek stun, right? Yeah. Which is all good. Um, but that's about it for, like, really hard CC, right? Yeah. Um... On Wings of Freedom side, we have Cho'Gath, right? We have knock up slow with his uh, with his rupture, right? We have Nami Bubble. We have uh, Ash Volley. Ash Volley. 
Not to mention Greg is cute, right? Yeah, definitely. Depends on what Greg is, uh, picks level one. Mm -hmm. um, Chances are he'll probably go with his barrel roll. Uh, if they're invading, or like if they're getting invaded, they, he might go with a body slam just for the the slow, right? He might. And same with the Maokai. Chances are he's not going to take his twisted advance first. He'll probably want to take his arcane smash to clear waves faster. Right. Or no, pardon me, his uh, saplings first. Yeah, you take saplings first as uh, jungle Maokai. Possibly, like and that's the thing. Like we don't know, and if the level one does uh, ensue, then uh, what Maokai will pick definitely will change. Yeah, certainly. Uh. I'm really glad that the tournament draft worked out, because we all know how well that worked last time for us. Well, <laughs> I mean... Like, I mean, it's, it's not the worst thing. It's not. And he still is okay. Yeah, and, and he's still okay. It's good. Yeah. It's good. We're good. So... I really don't want SKT1 to invade with their team comp this game. Yeah. Uh, I feel like Wings of Freedom is just... Their level 1 is just too strong, in my opinion. They do have a really strong level one. Yeah. Even with that Nunu, like, being able to secure buffs, if he does secure it, he's not getting out, and he's going to give first blood. So. That or burn a flash. Yeah, something like that. And then, we don't know if uh, Malakai will just want to go into his jungle and bully him out. Mm -hmm. With no summoners, it could happen. Definitely. There we go, there's the loading screen coming in there. Took a little bit longer. Eh, whatever, it's life. Life is lemons, and when lemons are present, you sell them back for profit. That's, yeah, I learned that in Business 101. Maybe. At least twice. Alright. So just looking at the lanes, um, Ziggs should go pretty even with Gragas. Um, Gragas could all in surprise him at 6, though, mm -hmm. knocking him away from his tower with his ulti. Definitely. But aside from that, like I said, I, I think bottom lane will just be farming, and Cho'Gath just wants to farm and get big and tanky, so I'm not really seeing uh, a whole lot of kill potential out of there as well. I think the game will be on the jungler's hands for sure to make plays. Definitely, yeah. Um, I'm interested to see, like, the, uh, because Ziggs has a satchel charge to jump out, right? Um, if Hilo is going to be able to toss an explosive cast to kind of knock him away from his satchel charge, removing any means of escape, right? So, I don't know, if we see that, that'll be the highlight for me. It'll uh, be pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if Carrier will realize that and, um, you know, save his satchel for after the explosive cast goes. Yeah. But we'll have to check it out. So we're in game now. Uh, this is game one versus SKT1, uh, Wings of Freedom. Cool. Oh, whoops. There we go. And we are on our way. Done. Jumping in onto this, uh, looking at the buys first off. Uh, everyone remember their trinkets. Good for them. There you go. So I'm, I'm so proud. I, <laughs> I played a game yesterday, forgot my trinket. Mm. Hank's signature. <laughs> yep, classic. Classic Hank. Oh, jeez. So here we are. Um, we just see a really, really defensive stance from... Most, like, for at least blue team, for, uh, for SKT1. SKT1 doesn't, they realize that their level 1 is, um worse yeah in, and yeah they they don't want to mess around with that definitely you see uh nami putting down a uh a ward there at red uh good call uh, in my opinion because if uh wings of freedom is spotted going into their red chances are the the skt one's going to rotate try and take their red if they can keep an eye on it cool right um and that's the whole point of putting the ward at the red buff is just just to see like are they going to steal my red do i have to go with to theirs, what's my next plan of action for the junglers? The yeah, exactly. Uh, camera seems to really like uh, hair, hair yeah. blow there. Yeah, yeah, so there's your 15 minutes of fame there, friend. Yeah, well, 15 minutes is, well... Like a, a bit of an overstatement, I guess. Wow. So uh, if, you, if you want. Uh, I guess everyone's going to their respective lanes so far. Uh, no invades. Cool, no I guess. Whatsoever, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. There's the uh, the saplings. You toss those down a bit early as your jungle Maokai, so you can, uh, you know, take that blue buff really quick. Can't go wrong with that. Now the thing here is, I've always talked about how Ziggs is a great pusher because he is. His uh, his bouncing bomb does rude damage mid game and it can just clear back lines. But Gregus also has the same uh, pushing potential with his 
with his barrel roll. And if you want to get into it, you could also use your explosive cast because it's got a fairly short cooldown. So that's pretty cool. Right. And uh, pretty much all we're seeing is just a little exchange top lane there. Right, going for the CS, they try to auto attack each other just to punish the person for taking the CS, right? Yeah. Alrighty. So, Nunu started red, I noticed. That, so, he's grabbing his blue buff right now. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I'm sure that obviously Kaysen has some reason. Probably because you have the AD carry at the bottom, you can do a lot more damage and clear the camp faster. Um, but, you know, realistically, you never know. Right, because I'm not sure if it's uh, better to start with red. I'm told it is, that if you start red, it's, you have an easier time uh, going at your blue, rather than vice versa. But, um, yeah, unfortunately yeah. that I'm something I'm not yeah. familiar with. Not the, uh, the best jungler NA here, that's for sure. So Kittens is pushing the wave in towards Hera, and he dinged three uh, before Hera does. So he has a chance to like win a trade and go aggressive, but... But Baby Troll coming in here uh, with the... The chain CC is nuts! Oh, I don't know if Kitten's gonna be able to make it out of this one. He has got to burn flash. Yeah, there, there it is, done. Alright, and smartly, Baby Trog and Harablo back off a little bit. So, can't go wrong with that. That was pretty good because Baby Trog realized that Hera was at a level disadvantage and he had his, a wave was stacking on his tower. So, Baby went up knowing that Kittens might want to play aggressive and punish for it. Yeah. So, definitely good call uh, for Wings of Freedom there. Um,. First blood not given, but uh, flash definitely taken. So kittens is gonna be uh, gonna have to be on his toes here for uh, for another gank. Yeah, it, it was successful for sure. I mean, mm -hmm. it pushed him off the wave, made him base, and also flash burn. Done. Cool. So nothing really going on too much at bottom. Just a farm fest, and they're about the same. A uh, bit of a disconnect, and a pause comes out. Okay, that sounds good. All right, we'll, uh, we'll just play some music, I guess. Yeah, sounds good to me. While the teams wait. Good. Alright, uh, we're back in here, uh, by the looks of it, Kaysen's back, he's doing his, uh, he's doing his golem, so good for him. A really short DC, actually. Yeah, it probably, like, maybe something was just off and he wanted to restart his client. Yeah. So, chances are that's the idea. I mean, it's still early in the season, points don't mean a whole heck of a lot, but realistically, in the end, every point's gonna count. Yeah, exactly, right? So, if your client's not working to, to the best ability, you might wanna, you know, redo it, right? Baby truck spending a lot of time uh, camping mid. Ooh, the satchel charge knocking the uh, knocking carrier out there. Good stuff. Before the DC, even um, Baby Trog was just sitting around mid looking for a gank. Yep. Pings are going down in uh, the mid lane from the blue side there. Um, just wanted to make sure everyone knows where Baby Trog is. Yep, definitely. Because Maokai ganks are pretty scary. They are. He's got a lot of CC. He's got. Like his twisted advantage, uh, a root, I believe. Yeah, it's a root, and it scales up uh, with levels. And the arcane smash, which is a knock back and a slow, so it's it's pretty devastating if you get on the wrong side of that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, as uh, kittens knows firsthand here. Kittens does know. Yeah, um, but he, he made it out alive. Yeah, and he picked up or he put down his ward, so uh, so life's good. He's for playing him. safe. For yeah, sure, definitely. And he's picking up a Dorn's blade. Um, I, my thinking is just because he was low from uh, the first gank, so he just wants to give himself a little bit more health, have an easier lane, give him a little bit more sustain, damage. Definitely, yeah. And he keeps pushing up the wave, which is which is fine, like... Yeah. Like, Cho'Gath, to my knowledge, isn't the best under tower farmer, because uh, right. his Vorpal spikes are going to, uh, going to push and, like, hurt the back line. He can turn it off, of course, but uh, Baby Draw coming in again. Doesn't look like too much is coming because Kaysen is here as well, and Baby Trog is uh, fairly slowed. But a mad knock up from Hariblo! Wow, knocked both of them up. Gank over. Here with the huge rupture, double yep. rupture, double rupture. Good, good. 
Two ruptures in one spell. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Paused again. Uh, I think we'll just hold on a little bit before we put on the music, because you never know if it's going to be a bit of a slow one. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So, so far, uh, what do you think of the farming, the lanes? I think the, uh, like, everyone seems to be going fairly even right now. Uh, there's no giant discrepancies between anyone, except Ash doesn't have any pots anymore, but Caitlyn still does. Um, so I guess that kind of is indicative of what's going on down there. Ash is getting bullied a little bit more than, uh, than she'd like to, and that's fair, because... As we Caitlin were talking does about, have the range advantage. Yeah, Caitlyn has the range advantage and has a lot of poke in her kit with, uh, like, Piltover Peacemaker and can be pretty rude. Um, keep in mind, though, that Ender has sustained through Talon, right? Mm -hmm. So he doesn't necessarily need pots. Yeah. Not that pots are a bad choice to have, but definitely. they definitely have to burn through the one already. Yeah. As we see, Ender's still full health right now. Um, he's probably using his volley a lot to, put, to push the wave back. Definitely. So... Here we go, baby Trog, uh might be having some internet yeah. problems or whatever. Exactly. So probably same idea as Casein a little bit. Yeah, you wanna know you wanna know that your uh your PC's at top notch. Switch, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. Tal or pardon me, not Talon, uh Yeller also has a has a heal for Caitlyn, so that's also probably why she still has her pots. Um So there's that. Um can't go wrong. No, not at all. Um I'm looking at Yo Yeller's uh, starting items, anyways. He's going for the um, new Shrelias, I guess. Is yeah, what it is now, the, right? the Talisman of Ascension. Right. So, I really like that on Taric, um, instead of getting the Relic Shield. Yeah. I believe is what it's called. Um, Relic Shield wouldn't be a bad choice on Tal or, excuse me, Taric, because he gives him health, he's a melee champion, he can execute the minions and help push the wave. But... In the end, he still has to get in really close to do his job with Dazzle. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the kiting potential out of Wings of Freedom. So, it's not a bad choice to just rush that. Definitely. Um, yeah, I haven't seen many people get Face of the Mountain, which is like the the final upgrade for uh, Relic, Relic Shield. And, uh, so, like, I'm not a big fan of going Relic Shield just with the intention of selling it later on to pick up uh, Talisman. Because you can get a lot of gold still from the passive of the Ancient Coin, which is, you get uh, two gold, I believe it is, every time someone dies. Well, exactly, yeah. So, it's definitely not a bad item. Yeah. We'll have to see how it plays out. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if he's necessarily just going to want to rush the Talisman right away, or if he does want to pick up some armor and health, maybe, before that. Possibly, yeah. Because it's... Um, when you're playing a, a melee support, something like that, I personally feel that you might want to get a little bit of health because you got to get in there and do your job, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, we could probably toss it to a bit of music for right now, and then play it by ear from there. Perfect. We'll be right back. Sorry about the pause. We'll be back shortly. Yeah.
Alright, so I do believe Baby Chog was the disconnect. He's back now. He's reconnected, so we should be back in game very shortly. Yeah, chances are the countdown will be uh, coming in pretty quick. So, Hank, um, what do you think of the CSing in mid lane um, with Gragas and Ziggs? As a big fan of Gragas mid lane, uh, I know that his early levels are really annoying to farm with for myself. His mana costs are really high, uh, and his cooldowns aren't the greatest. Um, so to see that he's out farming Ziggs is highly impressive to me. Like, good on you, Hilo. Well it, done. It's only 4 CS. Not to take anything away from Carrier. Oh, of course, no, yeah, Carrier is doing really well himself as well. Like, yeah, yes. However, it's just that the whole thing about, like, range versus melee champions, and then um, Ziggs just having easier early levels anyways. Yeah. Keep in mind, though, Baby Trog has been mid, uh, I do believe, once he went through lane, but he was around there much more than that. Definitely. So... That's that's a very good point. Uh, so. Probably assists Gregus's farm in a bit. Oh, here we go. Countdown coming in. All right. Easy peasy. Back game in two one. <laughs> All right. See, right there. Uh, Hair blow just used his beast on a minion. One stack down. Two to go. Four, five to go, I guess. In a perfect world. And Kins took a lot of damage. Yeah, like he's not necessarily winning these trades here. No, and he also didn't even use his feast on him. So. Yeah. Perhaps if he if he did uh do a bit more damage and decided to feast him, because feast does true damage. It it hurts. It hurts a lot. It looked like Kittens had maybe about five to 600 health, and I don't believe Feast can do that uh, level rank one, but still, it would have been very close. Oh, definitely, yeah. Like, if, uh, yeah, if Hairblow decided, like, hey, I want to try and get some kills on this guy, he probably could have uh, harassed a bit more and then feasted. Like, in the situation that happened there, it wouldn't have worked, but, like, we're here now. Yep. It's, it's good. It's all good. Yeah. Everyone's alive. This is good. FB hasn't been given. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Seven minutes in. Seven and a half, I guess. Seven and a half. And also, both of these teams are undefeated. Granted, SKT1 did get... Um, get a bit of a buy there. Yeah, they didn't get to play. Ooh. Baby, Baby Trog, real low. Baby Trog had to take blue buff from Hilo there because... He, he, Baby Trog was about to die to the blue buff, so he had to smite it away. Uh, that's gonna put Hilo behind a bit. Oh, and he just used his ult, uh, Hilo there in mid lane. I'm not, uh, not sure what, what that was all about, but, oh. Hilo might, uh, just wanted to have cleared the wave, just as a base. Certainly, yeah. Because he doesn't have blue, he doesn't, he knows he can't spam. But, interesting, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because I don't believe that he tried to just go for a straight up kill. And we see Carrier picking up his own blue. Yeah, there you go, done. Um, so for the next, I believe, three minutes is when they get the buff? Unless they have the mastery? Yeah, I th three minutes? Yeah, three minutes sounds about right. Carrier's gonna have a much easier time spamming his abilities, clearing waves, yeah. and just putting Gregs on his tower. However, yeah. though, Baby Troll with blue buff knows that, and he might stick around and try to punish Carrier for pushing. Definitely. Uh, Nunu here... Taking a two tower shots trying to take out Herblow, but he's uh, he only was taking about half health. And with Trogat's passive, he gains HP every time a minion dies around him, so chances are uh, he's probably not going to be pushed out of lane anytime soon. No, and um, also, Hank, it's not about what happens in game, it's about sending a message. Exactly. So, Kaysen's like, hey, watch yourself, Hera, I could take two tower shots. <laughs> I could take a little bit more. Thank yeah, you very much. Exactly. Yeah. Take two tower shots, just walk out of lane. Simple. Done. Yeah. Successful game. Yeah. yeah. There's a stack number two for Hera Blow. Cool. Can't go wrong with that. How do you feel about Hera um, prioritizing stacks on the minions as opposed to trying to push kittens out of lane? Uh, I think it's a, a good thing for right now. Once once he hits six, six stacks, uh, he'll be a lot tankier, of course. And then he should probably start want or probably start to want to use them on onto kittens. Uh, to do the damage, but as for right now, you get a secured, um, secured buff essentially, right? You get the stacks, and you get a lot tougher. That's right. And also, Rengar is just hard champion to push at a lane in general. He's manaless. He can heal through his W and just sustain. Yeah. He's got the Dorn's shield along with the blade. And Baby Trout going for the gank. Yep. Oh, and they're they're really good at 
chaining their CC, I've noticed. And flash burned again from kittens. Kittens forced to flash. Yeah, done. Uh, again, another successful gank for uh, Baby Trog there. Probably would have worked out a bit better if he went earlier on, where, uh, where his flash was still down, but, I mean, that happens. The poke back from Wings of Freedom's bot lane there. The bubble land. <laughs> the volley lands. <laughs> the auto lands. <laughs> Done. So much damage. Yeah, catch you later. Oh man. Good. Very good. It's just it's it's very good to um it's very good to uh to have the Maokai and the Choga. Because like you were saying, it's very easy to chain their CC together. Yeah. Because with the root, um and the The Arcane Smash. Right. It is more than enough time for Hera to land his rupture. Yeah, definitely. So, I can only imagine that that's going to get devastating late game. Once uh, once team fights start coming out, if the, if uh, Baby Trunk can twist advance on a priority target, Arcane shift him, and then Harblow can knock him up, and uh, so on and so forth. Oh god, Baby, Baby Trunk! With the, with the return! And here we go, bot lane. Uh, Yeller Heller has to... Or Yeller Hater, sorry, has to flash. Oh! oh! Hilo with the mad explosive cask goes into giving Ender first blood. Uh, well played. Yeah, definitely. Highly impressive. Wow. And that's what we were talking about, the level 6 potential from that bot lane. Yeah. They have the arrow. Boom. They have the prism. Catch you later. Oh, Wretched Soul might be in a lot yep, of trouble he here. is. Oh, he's forced to flash as well. Oh, oh! The barrier! That was really well done, and a little bit cocky from Hilo. He he started to walk away because he was like, oh, this is guaranteed, but the barrier was pulled out. Barrier bait. Oof. I feel like maybe he thought that the barrier was already blown in the previous engage. Possibly. So that's why he thought, well, that's going to be it. Definitely. And then we saw Ender flash forward under the tower to try oh. to pick with a kill. Didn't get the kill. Flash gone on Ender. Yeah. So, essentially, the flash burn on Wretched Soul isn't too... Too sad of a thing because Ender decided to blow his as well. No, and Wretched Soul also has the caliber net, right? Yeah, definitely. So Caitlyn still has an escape, whereas Ender on Ash doesn't. Yeah, she can slow. That's kind of cool, but other than that, uh, her escape right now is just through Talon, Nami's bubble, yeah, or her arrow herself, or just kiting and hoping that she can run away that e way. Exactly right. And to be fair, kiting a Nunu gank is fairly easy. He doesn't have a gap closer. He's he can speed up with his blood boil, of course, but. Eh. Yeah. If you if a volley's shot in his face, gank over essentially. He can't do much. Unless he picks up a teleport squirrel, goes behind the bush that they're in, and empires them. Empire. Done. Empire never dies. So far. <laughs> yep. It's too bad they haven't implemented the teleport scroll yet. Yeah. Dang. Oh, it happens. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so it's about mid game. Do you think we're gonna see a uh, dragon fight? Yeah, by the looks of it, even right now, uh, they're tossing down some, uh, they're tossing down their trinkets to knock out those wards. So clearly, they they're itching to do some dragon. They want the pressure for sure. Yeah. Um, he little picks up his blue. Flash. Perfect. Ender doesn't have a flash. You're right. Uh, his ult's back up. His uh, enchanted crystal arrow, along with, or along with Nami's tidal wave. So they do have a lot of peel in case something goes haywire. It's just. Ender's gonna have to position perfectly. Yeah. He has a lot of peel and a big front line in front of him, though. Definitely. And there's no real assassin also from SKT1 to just jump on the edge. Definitely. Huh. Interesting to see where this is going to take us. Uh, war or another ward is thrown down there from SKT1 on the, the dragon, but that's to uh, Wings of Freedom's three, so... Wings of Freedom is definitely putting a lot of their... Uh, money through wards around this dragon. They want it. Um, it's an objective early game, and that's it's yeah. huge right now. Because the gold is, it's slightly in the favor of wings. But if they get this dragon, it's just going to snowball their game. Certainly, yeah. Huh. Interesting to see where this is going to take us. Uh, top lane, uh, kittens, side steps. Yeah. Well done for uh, for that. Oh, we have another DC here. Chances are, pause is going to be coming out. Play it by ear, though, I guess. Let's eh? hope not. Yeah, like, I mean, oh, there there it is, done. Alright. Someone should have knocked on wood on stream. Oh, shoot. Is, is, it too, is, it, is it too late? It's a bit late. Maybe for next time, I guess. Yeah. Alright, we'll just toss it to some tunes for right now. We can hang around, too, because Kaysen's oh. DC last time was maybe I guess, yeah, that's a fair. minute or so. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll play it by ear.
So how are you uh, people on the stream doing tonight? Oh, there he is. Reconnected. Done. I guess I don't get to hear how the people on stream are doing tonight. <laughs> Unfortunate. Unfortunately. Dang. Keep in mind, the Sasquatch League games are every Sunday and Wednesday night at 9. Yeah, 9 o'clock. Same time, same place. Same Says, bread. Yep, done. And counting down, easy peasy. Back in game, perfect. Yep, simple. Here we go. Baby Trog, racing down our carrier, goes in! Oh, the but oh, Wow, that was a really good satchel charge again. I'm really impressed with, uh, like, even uh, la on Wednesday, sorry, Rita was playing, uh, was playing... Stunners. Were, yeah, they were playing the Stunners, and Pseudo Curse was playing Ziggs. And he had some really mean satchel charges, both offensively and defensively, so I'm really impressed with how these uh, these players are doing that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Carrier played that perfectly. He didn't yeah. have to burn his flash. He essentially baited Baby Trout, kind of, to take in a tower shot, right? Definitely. Carrier could steal this with his Mega Inferno Bomb, but, yep, oh, it's coming down. And oh! he does! Car that's, wow! Carrier scoops up the dragon with his ult. uh, there's just nothing else to say. Nothing else to say. No. And the fight ensues. Yeah. Baby Trog looks like he's going down yet. Yeah, Carrier picks up the double buff. And the tidal wave disengage. Ender! Oh, wow! Carrier picks up Ender with a bouncing bomb. Give me that. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Like, I'm... Yeah, I'm... That was really, really good for SKT1. Definitely. That's twice now that we've seen the power of Ziggs. His ulti stealing away a dragon. It definitely, yeah, it was pseudo curse again, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, on Wednesday, scoop that dragon right up with his ult. Give me that. And what really worked is that uh, I believe Kaysen flashed in and consumed to match uh, Carrier's ulti. So the spike was huge. Good. Good play by SKT1. And then also, Wings of Freedom didn't have their Cho'Gath to do, I do believe it's the 1000 true damage. Yeah, 1000 true damage to, to the dragon. Oh, and time that with the smite. And Hera's uh, TP was also down at the time, so he couldn't join. Yeah. Because kittens can't interrupt a TP. No, he was not. Like, I mean, I guess if he uh, spiked enough damage, but I don't think he could do that on, like, a, I believe, four stack Cho'Gath. Probably not. No, chances are no. I mean, I believe in kittens. Right now, he's doing not too bad in the trade. Yeah. But here's Baby Chug. Oh, Baby, just kind of walking in, walking out. So say, yeah. I'm around. Yeah. Don't you forget about me, kittens. Because I enjoy the top lane. Yep. Sorry about that. Whoops. And they're taking a lot of poke, actually. Yeah. It does get healed by the, uh, the ebb and flow. Kaysen, but... though. Oh, uh, Talon has to blow his flash. I don't know if he's going to make it out, though. I think he will. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, sidesteps the Aqua Prison. Very well done by uh, by Yeller, I believe it was. And a three-man dive? No, no they're just going to... They're going to go down. for the turret, which is, I think, a really good call at this point. Yeah. You need to, you need to start pushing the, these objectives. Right, because we saw they tried to do the dragon, they forced it. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was stolen from Wings of Freedom. Yeah. So now they're trying to get anything that they can. Definitely. And they noticed that the the three of them were pushing bottom. The three from SKT1 were pushing bottom, so they answered and pushed top. Very good call. It was very good. So essentially, yeah. towers traded. Two towers down for both teams. Yeah. Well done. Both towers being bot lane. Oh, Wretched Soul's base is interrupted. Oof. Yellow Hater coming in, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. The, the Enchanted Crystal Arrow matched with the Aqua Prism, but Yellow Hater knocks him out. Wow. They, uh, the power of Tarek. The power of Tarek. Wow. Impressive. Tarek didn't have his Ignite. He didn't. But he also had a lot more mana compared to both Ender and Talon. They seem to be... Yeah, they're completely out right now, so... And I believe Yeller stunned Ender to stop the DPS, yeah. and then just walked up and said, Hey, I'm here. Yeah. Catch you later, Shatter. pals. Yeah. Everything. Oh! oh Carrier with an on point Mega Inferno Bomb taking out Talon. Catch you later. Holy moly. Wow. The Saskatoon team is very impressive tonight. Yeah. Like, shout out to uh, Saskatoon there. You got, you got a couple pals there from, from up north, I guess. That's, that's really impressive. Um,. It was kind of like the the really blind snipe that we saw at Seal Curse, I believe. Yeah. Uh, on Wednesday, with the when he was playing Ziggs into Talon, I think. Yeah, it was Ziggs into Talon. And then just completely blind through the alt down. Yeah, because Talon was uh, invisible by using his uh, ult, his Shadow Assault. So Ziggs making a lot of plays. Yeah, definitely, highly impressive. I, the way I see this game, Ziggs has to be picked or banned. 
for next game for sure. Definitely. Oh! Holy moly, Ziggs just stole the blue buff from Hilo! Hilo's not having the greatest game for blue buff. Uh, no, yeah, wow. He, he got one, so that's a, like, I mean, that's a plus. It is. But Carrier's really just completely on point with the things that he's doing. He's farming really well at this point. He's got, uh... I believe Benchmark. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, so is Hilo. For that matter, for the record. Which is also impressive, seeing as he's had no blues. Yeah. And he's putting on roaming pressure. Exactly. Carrier has as well, but he will needs to move around the map more to get his roam. Yeah. These these mid lanes are really impressing me, as it stands right now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And they they just clear waves, and then just walk away. Like, both champions can clear waves and, like, maybe a spell rotation. Yeah. And then they're gone. Done. Catch you later. See ya. <laughs> bye bye Uh, yeah. So there's really no objectives uh, to be taken right now, except for SKT one's mid tower. Yep. So we might see a rotation down to there right now. Hera's going right now, I believe. No, he's going nope. to the top. Nope. I guess he just wanted to toss down that ward. Caster's curse. Caster's curse. <laughs> uh. But yeah, uh, there seems seems to be some stuff going on in mid. Three for SKT one there, uh, paired to the uh, the Gregus and the Maokai. What do you think of Hera's uh, item build choice? He went for the Frozen Heart as opposed to the Randuins. Um, strange, really, because I mean, uh, Rengar is a bit more of a an AD caster than he is an AD just uh, carry, right? He, he's not attacking as much as he is um, using his spells. He does get an attack speed buff, though. Yeah, so I guess if he wants, to, or if uh, Harrow wants to negate that attack speed buff, he made a really good choice. It's not like it's a bad choice. It still gives a lot of armor. Still gives mana that he uh, that he needs, right? So he gets a lot of health from his uh, feast stack, so. I actually really like the item because of um, Rengar's attack speed buff that he gets, and seeing as Caitlyn's damage is all pretty much her auto attacks. Yeah. She's not a caster per se, she has her... She has her peacemaker, and that's really about it. That's really about it, yeah, yeah. Right? So, it's, I really like the item choice. Yeah, most definitely. And he's the hair is just standing there, but Yeller's Whoa. getting caught out. Uh, is he gonna be able to? No, he's not gonna be able to flash over that wall. He uh, the explosive cast. Yeah, done. Uh, Dragon coming in here possibly. Yeah, hair is coming down with his TP. And what we were mentioning before, Kins can't interrupt or follow up. Yeah, definitely. So all he's got to do is just take the top tower, maybe get two. Who knows? Yeah. Ender's trying to force them everyone off. There we go. Smite and Feast taken down. Uh, Dragon picked up for uh, for the Wings of Freedom here. I was really worried. Ender was trying to just block everyone off with his volleys and do damage that way, but he was also susceptible to um, Yeller stun and then Zig's bombs, right? Yeah. Along with Caitlyn. He could take a lot of poke. He could have. Yeah. But he knew how much he could take. Uh, Talon was there to heal and back him up. Done. Everyone was good. Yeah. So, well well picked up. And we see Kitten's proxying top lane as opposed to just trying to rush down the tower. Or maybe he is going to come back after his minion have makes the tower. Possibly, yeah. Uh, Mega Infernal Bomb coming down, and Talon taken up by the uh, ace in the hole there. Oh, Carrier Satchel. Yep. Oh, what the, oh the flash! Oh, not oh. enough damage on the Hilo, though. He's healing up with pots and probably uh, probably Drunken Rage. Or, yeah. no, pardon me, uh, the passive for Kregus. Drunken Rage is his W. Nevertheless. That was... Carrier went all out to get the kill, because... He wanted the kill on Hilo so bad, because Hilo is the wave clear, pretty much, right? Yeah. Ash is in base, she's not going to be able to protect this tier 2, but just because Hilo lived, basically stops this mid push. Yeah, they had, they had to back off. They uh, they didn't have the minions there, so so much for that. Gotta go gotta go by, I guess. Which is probably a good idea, uh, seeing as Wretched and Carrier are so low. Definitely. That their push could have ended instantly with... With an enchanted crystal arrow coming down the lane. Yeah, exactly. Done. It's not an execute, but it could have been. Oh yeah, like, like if uh, if the enchanted crystal arrow landed, then of course at that point in time, uh, Hilo Hilo could have just landed mad barrels. Yeah, that's. I don't think he rolls his barrels, does he? Well, yep, yeah, mostly. I think he tosses him. Barrel toss. Do a barrel toss. Not quite. <laughs> no, unfortunate. I thought it was that. It's okay. We all we all make mistakes. No one's perfect. And we see Wings of Freedom grouping around mid for this mid tower. Yeah. Unfortunately, the directed camera's not uh, not our best friend right now. It's uh, not allowing us to move it anywhere, and I'm not sure why. But or, or override. Or yeah, can't do much at for, this point. For the most part. Yeah. So he was roaming up top lane though. Yeah. 
possibly going to be able to take out kittens. Kittens hasn't died yet. Uh, I mean, at the same time, now there's Hera. But, they're, like... They're just two tanks. Exactly. The ganks are coming in on kittens. And kittens built tanky, so... Yeah. They realize that, and they don't want to blow a whole lot to kill him, because he's really not a threat right now. These two no. top laners are just fighting just, each other forever. Exactly. Like we were talking about, is a farm off, and... That's about all it is. Cho'Gath's up. The hair is up uh, a good 12 CS right now, so that's two whole waves. So There's two waves. Yeah. All right. Oh, Ziggs isn't able to scoop this one up, unfortunately. Baby Trog takes it. Uh, but that I believe that's three blues now that Hilo's been denied? Yep. Yeah, three. That's three, huge. Three or four. 25 minutes in the game, at least three blue buffs. Yeah. So, unfortunate for him. Uh, Ziggs is going his blue buff, though. Carrier's going to be able to scoop that right up. Toss some bombs around. Easy peasy. Uh, you see Wretched Soul there. She picks up the... Uh, or, well, he picks up... Oh, wow! Hilo! Taking it back! He scoops up Carrier's blue buff. <laughs> Give me that blue. <laughs> done. That's really impressive. Yeah. Well well done. It's, and it's like a nice, uh, nice finger to uh, Carrier for doing the same thing to him. Well, I mean... Like, I guess. like it's a bit rude to steal a blue buff when uh, when you're taking it. And I mean, Carrier seems like a person who doesn't deserve the, <laughs> the quote-unquote. Wow. <well. laughs> I mean, they're not playing nice. No, it's they, basically yeah, what's it, happening. mostly that's what's happening right now. Harris coming around from the side. Yeah. Is anything gonna come of it? Just a just a nice push. I believe they're gonna five man. Wings of Freedom is just gonna five man mid. Because they see kittens, is still trying to push top lane. Yeah. He uh, he did finally get that tier two turret though, or the tier one turret. Sorry. Well. And he's staying to try to get the tier two. Yeah. They're confident in Ziggs is turtling, along with Caitlyn. They have a lot of wave clear. Dude. But Caitlyn just used her. her Peacemaker. Her Peacemaker. Before the wave even hit the tower. Yeah. But Ziggs. But there. Ziggs done. He can take out like all the caster minions with one. Uh, with one bouncing bomb, and Ender takes a lot of poke there. And a tower shot. And However, he was roaming up top lane. Yep. Uh, I don't think he's going to be able to do much to uh, to kittens there with his spirit visage, of course. That, uh, we'll never know because directed camera. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey, thanks, directed camera. Thanks. Appreciate that, friend. That's a lot of damage on Hilo. Yeah, he. If Hilo keeps going, even in minions, I don't think that he'll be able to make it out. But the sunfire capes definitely going to hurt him. Yeah. Over time, yeah. So there you go. Uh. Both the Enchanted Crystal Arrow and the Tidal Wave are up for uh, for Ender and Talon, respectively. So if they if they were thinking of doing something, now be uh, Baby Truck Base. This yeah. could be it. They're taking a lot of damage. Yeah, down to half. But he's one tanky lobster. He is a lobster crustacean. <laughs> that is very tanky. Yes, you betcha. And kittens, <laughs> kittens again, just gonna stay up top. Be annoying. Yeah, done. He uh, he caught up with uh, Hariblow's CS. Oh, arrow, and arrow coming down. Wretched uh, soul. Wow, followed up by the Hilo explosive cask and the tidal wave. Hopefully they can get something out of this. Oh, yes, the uh, the aqua prison on Kaysen, but Oh, there he goes. He's he's down. Hera also flashed forward to try to cue Wretched Soul to stop the escape, but Wretched Soul's still running. Wretched Soul's still running. He's not. Uh, his name's not red there. He's uh, he's living. Oh, 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 carrier on point with those Mega Inferno bombs. That is just asinine. Hits like, because uh, with the Mega Inferno Bomb, it has two zones, right? But we'll talk about that after, because that double Ring bubble! It. Yellow hello, your yellow hello hater. Oh, goodness, wow. He's he's gone. That's all that. It, that's all that matters right His now. His name is gone. You don't have to say yeah, it for another 30 seconds. Yeah, catch you later. <laughs> Sorry, yellow. <laughs> yeah, later. He almost lived, though. Yeah. Effectively. Yeah, definitely. The the prism, the Aqua Prism, sorry, uh, tagged with Rupture, just insane but sk2 yes yeah, sk2 one picking up some turrets uh i feel like rengar and caitlin and ziggs i uh, rengar is going back top but i think the three of them should have went for dragon but i think the two or yeah okay they're doing it the two of them yeah, carry and Ratchet Soul. heal up for years yeah i guess yeah he's got himself a, a bt and a static shiv so they gotta be careful though he was not too far away no and he's hungry for blood yeah he's gonna he's itching a body slam over here but Carrier puts his minefield down in the wrong place. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, the uh, because Gregus changed or the body slam was Here changed on Gregus, right? Oh, uh oh. 
Kilo chase. No oh, oh, the enchanted crystal arrow. Catch you later. Oh, uh oh. Barrier though. The barrier. Wow. The barrier was epic. A perfect. Carrier, calculate again. <laughs> well done, carrier. Vegetal takes a lot of poke from Gregus. Yeah, definitely. And Ender's down half HP, but healed up with the ebb and flow. So I guess this ebb push can. Ebb and flow. Oh. Yep. Perfect. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> Is Casey gonna try to initiate? No, he's just hungry for a minute. Yeah, just wants to chow down on that. Give himself some heal. More than fine. Done. Easy. That's just all to oom. So, oh, oh hair on mid lane, though. Scooping that turret up. Fi like, finally, I'm going to say, because it's 30 minutes in, and the, uh, the outer mid turrets. And they've uh, grubbed mid uh, plenty of times. Yeah, plenty of times. So, I'm glad to see they have it down. Yeah. It adds a lot more pressure, but to be fair, uh, Wings of Freedom is down two, turret, or two mid turrets, so. This game, I've noticed that Wings of Freedom has been more objective uh, focused in their gameplay. Yeah. However, SKT1 um, has just been playing reactively, I guess I'll say. They have they see what's in front of them, they'll fight or do whatever they need to do, and then they'll make their choices afterwards. Yeah. Done. And they always get something after a fight. And it, yeah, it's, it's well played, that's for sure. Yeah. This is a, definitely a battle of like some really good teams here. Yeah. They know what they're doing. And I believe Hera is now finally six stacks. Yeah, there you go. Good stuff. Good on you, Hera Blow. Well, maybe not finally. He has one death, so his stacks probably were six and had to pick it up again. However, but he, uh, oh, yeah, he's at he's at five stacks. You're right. He can get a uh, get a bit bigger here. I think he's gonna pass off the red though. Yeah, he should at least. Oh! oh! Nope. The sunfire steel. <laughs> yeah, sunfire, sunflower, if you will. Sorry, Ender. Yeah, maybe next time, pal. <laughs> these uh these oh, buffs oh chase chase oh, oh getting chased that's what that is oh but he's the stealth is real and it's t it's enough time for his team to come in and oh! Ender is destroyed Ender oh Ender you're not okay friend I'm sorry to hear that SKT one was there so fast yeah that was kittens kiting him around while he was invisible was well done and to say the least. And tank Rengar definitely helped him in that situation. Oh, definitely. And they're going to be able to scoop up this uh, this top lane turret here. Keep on pushing. Oh, probably. Case is going to try to chase down Hilo here. Yeah. All right. Kidness takes a little bit of poke here. Ooh, the prison misses. Ooh. All right. Terrible going a bit low. He doesn't want to lose those stacks. I can tell you that. I'll tell you that for free. For free. And this is the power of blue buff Ziggs, especially at this point in the game. He can just clear waves, and their siege is just too strong. Too strong. Cool. Uh, so you see uh, SKT1 rotating downwards. Uh, Into the mid lane. Yeah, they're gonna try and push out mid, but I don't think they'll be able to do too much as it stands right now. They uh, they did what they needed to do top lane, and that's currently all that matters. And they're just trying to get something like we were talking about, something out of that pick. Yeah. They went to their blue buff, saw that it was down. It was. So they just want to get the mid pushing. They're looking right now to get. Uh, baby Chog in the yeah, jungle. Yeah, he's caught out, and there's a lot of slow coming down on him. Oh, Baby Chog just flashed right into the wall. Oh, Carrier picks up another one. 503 for Carrier. Carrier's playing really impressive. Yeah, he's he's been a part of all eight of the uh, the kills for SKT1, so. And that's part of their initiation down. They still have Hera with TP, but it's. Yeah. That's a lot of their uh, initiation down. Definitely. Ender's juking that bouncing bomb. Good on him, because that would have been a lot of damage. At least a third, I'm probably going to guess. Yeah, something like that. Ooh, those bubbles. Oh, Hilo forced to flash. Yeah, Hilo, uh, uh-oh. Oh. oh, wow, okay, good. Oh, the Ignite, oh, the ignite though. though. Oh, oh, it's no. Wow, he lived with very small amounts of HP there. That, they, that might be a tier 3 tower. Yeah, they've got the minions, they've got the pushing power, they've got uh, Blood Boil on the Kate. It's, yeah, it's and going down. And still top lane. Yeah, I don't know... Why? This might be an inhib. Yeah, it is an inhib right now. It's half down. Easy. Oh! Oh, oh maybe I spoke to... Oh, no. There we go. Kids picked it up. But they're yeah, fighting for it. They're fighting for it. They're not giving up. Empire! In the open! <laughs> okay, Carrier's baby drone. really low. Yeah. He, uh, he, he was going for the behind there. He wants to scoop up Wretched Soul and Carrier. That's going to be a triple kill with one. With, yeah, with his... Oh! Oh! Hairball coming down! Oh! Goodness, I've... 
feel like I feel like Talon didn't need to die there. But he was the nice donut in front of the runner on the treadmill. Yeah. He was like, "Hey, I'm right here. Yeah. If here you want, you can grab." Exactly. So like, but carrier he too close. He did. Carrier may have gotten taken down, but he got a kill out of it. So all in all, like, well done for him. It's yeah. It's always good to do one for one, especially in that situation. Yeah. Oh, and kittens. His bee is stopped. He's just gonna keep on running though. I feel like it's not in uh, the best interest to chase him. He's a tank. He's quite tanky. Yeah. Um, unless they're looking to do a band play right yeah, afterwards. I guess so. And they are taking him down. They've got the two carries and along with Haribo, so. Because that is their cool. tank, right? Yeah. Cool. We'll have to see what uh, happens right after. Certainly. Hair with the BV. He yep. is supremely tanky. Definitely. What's that? 4K light? It's got to be, yeah. Let's check it out here. He he most certainly has just shy 4K life. There you go. Um, SKT, forcing the dragon, though. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be able to take it down before wings get there. Yeah, good stuff. Wretched Souls. Are they going to get picked? Harris here. Oh, Yeller. Yeller, uh, he's Yeller. in a little bit of trouble. But I don't know if they're going to be able to... No, yeah, Yeller's just running away, but uh, Wretched Souls. Wretched Soul did barrier. I believe Ender... Hit the arrow on him. Oh, okay. And he buried the damage. He was scared. He didn't want to see Greg just blow him up. Of course, and definitely a, a good call. Like it's a bit bummer. Or it's a bit of a bummer that he uh, he had to blow his barrier. But all in all, it's better, better to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nami picked up an Athene's unholy grail. CDR. The CDR and, and the mana problems. Yep, yeah, definitely. And plus, uh, now with the new changes, I, I believe, believe she gets higher scalings. Yeah, she. Uh, she does get higher scalings for, uh, yeah. Almost everything? Uh, Probably. Something like that, yeah. So, interesting. And she also has an Elise Liara Rod, so good for her. She hasn't upgraded to a Talisman or the Ascension yet. I think that's probably something she'll really want to do for the, uh, for the escape and the, uh... Engage. Engage, yes, thank you. Yeah, it's... Personally, I would have liked to have seen... Oh, Hilo. Oh, Hilo, he's... I guess... They don't have a lot of damage, but the Talisman of the Ascension coming down. Oh, the Disengage! Oh, but the the uh, Mega Inferno Bomb is too much for Hilo, as well as the Ace in the Hole. Catch you later, and Baby Trog is going to follow. Ender was bottling that entire time! Oof. They fought essentially a 5v4, but they picked Hilo off first, and then Baby Trog. Yep. So they, they didn't really get to fight the 5v4, they just got picked. They just got picked. And Hilo's the wave clear right now, so this... This could possibly be the game. It, yeah, there's 30 second death timers, man. If not, they are they can definitely just demolish the base. They can do a Baron, they can get a triple in hit. They have so many like, opportunities yeah. right here. Yeah, top lane's pushing up. If it, Oh, Carrier gets picked carrier out there. Carrier the but, flash, though. Oh, what? All right. Carrier flashed forward to get the kill. Didn't get it right after he flashed, but he still gets it. Good. And that's another carry down for Wings of Freedom. Yeah, this is game. They're, I don't really see them coming back right now. Uh, Kins pushes towers too fast. Yeah, and Kaysen with his uh, with his absolute zero. Baby Trog is up now though. Oh, Baby Trog, and now Hilo's up as well. So they're gonna. Are they getting just... an Ace trying to end the game? Ooh, that could be dangerous. But no, yeah, Nexus, Nexus is falling just really. Just down. Yeah. And that is game, game? one. SKT one. SKT one. Wow. Well done. From both Literally sides, well both sides played really well. Like, look at Gregus's farm. He's above Diamond standard right now. According to the, uh... He's, yeah, he, he made it over the, the threshold. Yeah, the ten, uh, ten a minute is the, uh, the idea of, like, you're farming really well this game. Alright. Really well played. Yeah, alright, so I guess we'll, uh, jump into some music while we jump into the lobby for the next game. For game two. Yeah. Don't touch that stream, though. No. Don't, <laughs> yeah, good.
happened really well this game. All right. Really well played. Yeah. All right. So I guess we'll uh, jump into some music while we jump into the lobby for the next game. For game two. Yeah.
And welcome back to the Saskatchewan League. Apparently music wasn't playing that whole time. That's cool. You know, that's life. Eh. Forgot to turn it up. Eh. I'm sure we all survived. We're all here now. Eh. Eh. So, game one. Going over to SKT1. Yeah. Uh, Wings of Freedom really does, uh, don't want to see an Evelyn being played. I don't know if that's target ban or if that's just a personal preference. Yeah, it's a uh, cuz on on the pre-stream you you could see that uh, the jungler would play Evelyn, but it's a different jungler right now. They are they're using a, a a sub, I believe, or possibly just uh yeah, just, uh, roster reordering anyways. Yeah. So so bands pretty much the same. Evelyn Fizz from Wings of Freedom, and then Mundo and Shivana. Yeah, and then the Nasus as well from Wings of Freedom, exact same bands. Here's what I'm wondering. Ziggs. Ziggs has to be a six band, or Hilo's gonna get it. And yeah, done. Catch you later. Good. Yep. Because... Hilo can play a mean Ziggs as well. Like, we, we were talking about Carrier's Ziggs, and he was mean on it, but so is Hilo. He, like, as we saw on Wednesday, he's really good. Yeah. Top GPM. Yeah. Yeah. Hovered and locked. Locked. Done. Wow. Oh yeah. Uh, neat, to say the least. Haven't seen a TF in a while. No. And Chase Kitten's comfortable on his Rengar. Yeah. Um, he felt that he did his job as tanking, and yeah. still a lot of damage coming out of Rengar, regardless of the tank build. Exactly. Yeah. And Caitlyn again. All right. So they're sticking what works. Exactly. What yeah. They noticed. Uh, hey, we won last game. Why switch it up? Exactly. Um, these again could just be comfort picks as well. So yeah, cool. So I'm curious as to see: Are we going to see a global comp then? Are we going to see like a Nocturne Shen possibly? Ooh, that'd be kind of neat actually. Or maybe it's a AD TF with a Karthus mid. AD TF with Bork. I played against it, and it's pretty annoying. It's pretty mean, right? Yeah, yeah like you don't want to go up because his scaling is really good, especially on his pick a card. It's it's. Whew. You don't want to. You don't want to be against that. You, Tell you that. It's surprisingly <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm not gonna go out and say this is right now an ADTF for Ender. It. Cause yeah, chances are it's AP. But hey, you, you never, never know. know. Baby Chog picking the Maokai. He yeah. really liked it, and uh, he did really well on it. Yeah, definitely. Jax immediately picked and locked in. Really cool. Uh, I'm excited to see Hera on the Jax. So this, is, this can get scary, um, mid-game and late-game, for SKT1, because Jax is so strong in the late-game, and TF is just going to split, and... All day. Yeah, in the early games, you just, like, along with him and Baby Trog, ganks bottom are going to just hurt so much. Oh yeah, immediately. The single target lockdown is crazy. Oof. It's, it's itching to uh, cause some damage, that's for sure. So I wonder then, are we going to see... Righteous Soul pick up Cleanse for the gold card, along with the Twisted Advance. You never know. I mean, Jax is Counter-Strike as well, right? Yeah. It's AoE stun. So far, everyone can lock down uh, Righteous Soul. Yep. Definitely. Uh, we're seeing an Orianna and a Taric being hovered over. Taric again, same as last time. Yeah, because Taric was pretty good. Yeah, like, I was impressed by it, to say the least, so... Wretched was basically dead. We saw bot lane. And then Yeller's like, no, I'm coming in, yep. I'm Terry. Catch you later, pals. Yeah, you can't do anything, yep. man. Dazzle, shatter, bye bye I'm fabulous. Yeah, <laughs> done. Yeah. Uh, the Ori is locked in. I'm excited to see Carrier on Oriana. If he, if he can play even half as good as the Ziggs, it's going to be a, a pretty neat matchup here. It's going to be a really easy ball delivery system with um, Rengar. Yep. It's like this the whole submarine aspect, right? Coming in from behind, invisible. S stealth slurping. <laughs> done. So... I'm wondering, okay, Talon hovered over Ash. Yeah. They won when Talon played support Ash. Are they gonna try it again? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, oh the Leona, Leona though! Leona Lucian is a really strong lane. Yep. Poke and burst for days. Lucian is such a lane bully right now, and Leona fits so well because she's all in all the time. Yep. She's super aggressive, high damage. You toss that Zenith Blade, you toss that Eclipse, or if... Eclipse pops, W, yep. right? Done, yeah. And then Shield of Daybreak. <laughs> Done. But Lulu instead, which is also good. It adds to the poke of, uh, of Lucian. That's right. And TF, so... It's... Lulu also works. Um, I believe Talon played it day one, game one. 
Okay. And that could just be a comfort pick because he didn't know uh, what he was playing against, right? Like, mm -hmm. So he just might have just fell back to a comfort role or comfort champion rather, and just wants to get back to it. Yeah. And Certainly. Also, Lulu is not bad into a Rengar Ori because whoever gets submarine, you can just shield an ulti. Yeah. And then that's done. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. He, the fight's still going. No one's popped. It'll be interesting if they'll hit it, though. Uh, I have faith in Carrier, especially from seeing last game. Yeah. However, Ender can just dash away as soon as he sees the animation for Shockwave happen. Definitely, right? He's the... the Lucian Dash is really good in all senses of the word. It can all... Like, it removes slows, right? So... And we see Kaysen playing, again, Jungle Nunu. Jungle so, Nunu. The ganks from Kaysen, especially on bottom lane, I see nothing happening. Yeah. Because unless Yuller gets a stun and then they're just able to stick on with a red buff and then a snowball afterwards, that's the only reason I can see, especially because Talon's playing Lulu. Yeah. Lulu can just kite for days and then Ender just gets rid of the slows. Done. Like, if Ender... I haven't seen Ender play Lucian myself. Uh, I've got faith in the no, faith in him, though. He's a, he's a, clearly a strong AD. So if he can play Lucian well, he should have no problems getting ganked. Right. Right? Like, the, the slows aren't going to be doing a whole lot for him. And Hera's not taking TP this time. Yeah, he's looking to go all in on the uh, kittens there. Interesting, to say the least. I actually like the uh, Ignite pickup on Jax, because if he can kill kittens and then rush his damage, and then just be that bully in lane as Jax is, that's that's, that's all you need. Yeah. Kittens is going to be in a lot of trouble for yeah. a lot of the whole game, pretty much, afterwards. <laughs> yeah, like, he had the ability to farm against Cho'Gath, and I'm sure Hera's not going to, like, disregard farm, but he's going to be going in there, he's going to be poking, he's going to be doing damage, he's, gonna, he's going to want to trade. Yeah, exactly. And once Hera hits 6, his trade's going to get incredibly strong. Yep. You, got, you jump in there, you auto-attack, you, like, you, yeah, uh, then you have empower it, and then your Grandmaster's might procs. Three, three attacks, half HP, calling it, catch you later. And that's also with Hilo possible um, Destiny in. Yep. And then Baby Truck, Twisted Advance. Could like, be dangerous. Their single target damage is nuts. Yep. Wretched Soul's going to have his work cut out for him. He's taking Barrier. I I think I would have taken a cleanse against this team myself. Um, I don't play AD, but I know the value of cleanse when it comes to being rooted, being stunned, being slowed, dying... <laughs> dying, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, no, it's a, definitely a really scary team you're looking at. And Wretched Souls just thinking, my front line's going to be big enough. Again, they don't really have an assassin. Hera's going to have to, like, possibly ward jump or compromise his flash, his positioning, or even just come from behind, even. Yeah. To get on soul. But. Which is possible for Jax. He, uh, he's good at jumping through the, uh, the jungle, so. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Leap Strike can come from. Uh, the Unseen Leap Strike is the deadliest, if you will. If you will. I really would have liked a more AoE team comp from SKT1. Yeah, I would agree, actually. Because everyone's just almost single target TPS. Like, you look at Hera, Jack, single target. Uh, Hilo on TF. This stun's going to be single target. Yeah. His cards aren't, necessarily. Yeah. But, I mean, your AD carry is... He's got his casting abilities, sure. Yeah. But... I would have just loved to have seen an AoE team comp. Definitely. They kind of do uh, with Kaysen's ulti, uh, Kitten's W, right? Orianna, of course. Great AoE. Yeah, fantastic. However, just the the Tarek and the Caitlyn. I would have loved to see Leona, actually, instead of the Tarek. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, that would have been really, really nice. Because they're going to Solar Flare, along with her Eclipse, with an Ori ult could be, like, yeah, because Ori's ult, the, they, they got tossed over the ball, but they get closer into the ball, so if you toss down the Solar Flare, whew, like, at least a three-man stun at that point. At least, yeah, because the Shockwave brings everyone in, you Solar Flare it, and then your Eclipse pops on everyone, and then meanwhile, Ori just keeps moving the ball around, doing whatever she wants. Yeah. And it keeps getting Leona proc, or proc Leona's passive. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. So, it can get pretty, uh, it can get pretty devastating. Must get to your twist of fate. Cool. It's, I like that skin. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite TF skins. Uh, also, big fan of Jaxmas. It's oh, not my favorite uh, Jax skin, 
Uh, I, I like the Mighty Jacks. Uh, I'm pretty partial to Pax Jacks myself. <sighs> I guess. I know. Um, yeah. yeah. Pax Scum. Pax Scum. Who do you think you are? Pax Siver? Like, whoa. 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 Pax Siver is great. <laughs> she She's a skin that you can use in the game of League of Legends, I guess. You would tell me if Pax Siver said, hey. You wouldn't say hey back? I'd probably say hey to Pax Siver. There you go. If I had to, well, I mean. Discussion's over. <laughs> well, is it though? Wow. Well. well. The game's going to hopefully go in right away, so then the discussion will have to end. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is spectacular. Siver is uh, is really good. Uh, our apologies of the stream. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cool. We just that's the, that's the confusion. Good. Better now than in game. Yes, mostly. Well, all allsley. Allsley, I guess. I guess. Right. Well, yeah, we're here now. It's good. Now you guys can see what we're talking about with the skin. Yeah, the skin, you got the skins there. Because clearly we like. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's we're good. No, everything it, worked out. Yeah, like mostly. The Lucian, bottom lane though. Lucian. 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 Give me dead. Here we go, we're in game. For game two of the Sask League. Week two? Uh, week one. Oh no, yeah, week one, holy week moly. Week one, day two. Week one, day two, Sask League. Uh, SKT1 versus uh, Wings, Wings of Freedom. Freedom. Thoughts right now, team comps, and what you saw last game. Who do you think is going to win? Uh... I'm gonna say I'm gonna put I don't know I'm not putting money on it, but I'm gonna say Wings of Freedom. I I really like their team comp right now. They've got a lot of single target stun, and I don't think that SKT really has a lot to answer. Uh, Hilo taking a bit of damage there in mid, and they're looking to invade. They're looking to skin invade for sure. Yeah, scoop that skin invade right up. However, they're gonna walk right into uh y oh Ooh. Hilo walked up and around, which. Was able. Or yeah, or sorry, Yeller sorry. was able to uh, to see to spot him out. Invade because if you hug the wall, where banana brush used to be, if you hug it, they can't really see you unless yeah. you're hanging right on the edge of that brush. Exactly. And that's not really a place you want to be if uh if the whole team's coming at your face. Well, for the most part, yeah. yeah. That's at least a flash level one. Yeah. Which is, in some sense, worth more than the first blood right now. Yeah, definitely. Because I believe the first blood is two eighty. It, yeah, it's it's less than it used to be in uh, season three. So. Flash, a lot of people value the Flash over the first blood. Yep. I guess, I didn't mention this last time, a uh, little bit sad that uh, Kaysen doesn't have a Nunu skin. Uh, I feel like he should he should treat that champion better, uh, him being my favorite and all. So. Well, maybe that's something we like, can talk about. Yeah, Kaysen, yeah. Uh, we're going to have to have a chat, I guess, you and I. Sorry, friend. Well, I mean, not to call anyone on stream, but... <laughs> no, done. Yeah, names were dropped, I guess. Yeah. And Red Star for Kaysen again. Yeah, there you go. Both reds actually taken right away. Yeah, which I guess throws a hole in uh, my idea of um, Nunu wanting the uh, the AD Ooh. carry to help out, right? Oh, excuse me, right, right. Yeah. Maybe it's just that. Maybe just taking red buff right away is just better overall because it helps blue. Maybe, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but we saw a Hilo place a ward. And SKT's blue. S SKT's blue. Good stuff. Are uh, they going to maybe contest it or just say, hey, look, here's Nunu. Watch out bot lane. Yeah. They, they can see that he took his red first now. They know that for sure. And there you go. And that's it, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Take that wild card. So the jungle Nunu uh, seems to be a lot faster than jungle Maokai. Certainly, yeah. The consume definitely adds to it. The, the the true damage to the monsters is... Even though it was nerfed, it's still devastating, right? You can it's still true damage. Yeah, definitely. Nunu's still, or clear times are still fairly slow in terms of... He just has to beat minions until, like, the 13 seconds are down. But other than that, like, he's, he's pretty good. He's in a good place right now. It's also when you see Hilo just pushing the minions to the tower on carrier and getting poking as well. Yeah. He's his TF's pretty mean. He's prioritizing the poke. Yeah, definitely. He wants to push Oriental lane early because oh kittens. He, I feel like he should have seen that a little bit earlier. But oh no, he came from behind. I'm thinking of last game. Kittens. <laughs> Flash blown again for kittens. Poor guy. Baby Trog. <laughs> he's a nice puppy guy. Yeah, he must be a puppy guy because he's not a fan of the Rengar. He's not a fan of kittens. Oof. I bet you if kittens is playing Nasus. No top lane. No top oh. lane. Nope. He'd be going. Uh, he'd be going elsewhere. Yeah, for sure. Tell you that for free. 
Another successful gank, though, for Wings of Freedom's jungle. Yeah, definitely. His uh, his early ganks have shown us that he's he knows what he's doing. Maokai early, though, is just so scary with double buffs. Oh, totally. We it's talked about how it's scary the gank is the Twisted Advance and the Arcane Smash. It's just... Done. Yeah, it's just... You slip the flash, at least. Exactly. Wretched Soul took a lot of damage from Illusion. He did. He's got he's got some pots rolling, and he's got uh, Terex heal, so... Oh, here's Kaysen. Oh, the flash dazzle! But I don't think it's going to be enough, as it stands right now. Barrier was blown. Yeah, Barrier certainly was blown. And Yellow took a lot of damage from the tower. He did. I... Huh. Uh, Kitten's taking a lot of damage top with, uh, from Jax there, but... Kittens might have to just leave the wave. Yeah, I think at this point... Well, no, he's got a, his empowered, uh, Battle Roar, I think it's called, or whatever. Yeah, he heals a lot with it, so... He is gonna be an immovable object, for sure. Yeah. And that's the only issue with Jax top against, uh, Rengar, is Jax doesn't have any innate sustain. Right? Like, he, he can't heal, he doesn't have a shield, per se, he's got the Counter-Strike, which blocks damage for two seconds, but... Right. Like, at that point, what's that gonna do for you? Kins is... Yeah, he's pretty healthy now. Yeah. He's not scared. He's poking Hera down. He's walking up like, hey, I've got a big creep wave here. You don't want to trade with me right yeah. now. Yeah, catch you later, pal. Yeah. Baby Trog, uh... Scooping that ward up down bottom. He he's know showing what? his pressure for sure. Certainly. Um, Kaysen just doing his jungle. He's gonna maybe push out the mid a bit. But, yeah, Baby Trog's just letting everyone know like, hey, I'm here. I'm Maokai early, so you better watch out. Yeah, you better watch out, you better not cry. You, you better, better not pout. pout. I'm telling you why. Baby Chalk is coming to town. <laughs> exactly, there you go. Uh, Yeller taking a lot of damage, and he doesn't have his flash. He doesn't have his flash. So, yep, yeah, there you go, first blood to Baby Chalk. He came to town. He came to town. I feel that Ender had that regardless, but at this point... They just want the kill. Yeah, exactly. There's there's no use in letting that get away. No, exactly. And Yeller didn't have his flash, but it's better safe than sorry. Yeah. Ooh, Hilo caught up in his minions there while uh, Kaysen comes in with a red buff and a uh, snowball, but... There's take... a lot of minions yeah. for Hilo right now. He stacked them up really nice, and they can't die. The damage, yeah. the damage is too much. Plus, Hilo's 6, right? Carrier's not 6 yet. Exactly. So. The only thing I'm worried about later on in this game... My big question is, can Carrier carry again? Evidently, like, like his Ziggs was mean. He did a lot of the mid-game battle. Yeah, definitely. Like, when it was 8 to, uh, whichever. Oh, wow. Okay. Baby Truck's still going. Hera, not on the same page. No, yeah. He was like, no, I don't really, I'm not feeling this right now. And Kaysen just walks up, says, hey, yeah. hola. I'm here. Yeah. How's it going? And Hilo uses Destiny to get the vision on kittens as well. Oh, good. Because Rengar was like, oh no, I'm he, he, getting ganged. Exactly, so he popped his uh, he popped his ult. He, uh, yeah, he's going to say, hey, throw the hunts up. I got to go in Viz. Oh, dang, Destiny! Uh, what up, Destiny? But, yeah. Baby Trog and Hera weren't on the same page. Yeah. And they just... Definitely. I think that a kill could have happened had Hera and uh, Trog communicated a bit more, but, I mean, at this point, it's... It's all right. Destiny's a long cooldown, though. Yeah. And early, that's... It's pretty real. Yeah, because that could be going towards the bottom lane, snowballing bot more, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, I noticed that uh, Carrier's uh, fallen a bit behind mana uh, against TFs, so, uh, or against Hilo there. So, uh, he, his Ori seems to be a bit rusty compared to his Ziggs, but like, I'm not going to count it out right now at all. He's only about 12 behind, so... Well, exactly, and... Plus, Hilo's TF. Like, he's prioritizing the poke, right? Yeah. He, he's making Carrier use his mana for a shield to block the poke. Definitely. He only took a lot of damage. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. He's got his heal. But, dang, that's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. I don't have a... Uh, the need to really look into TF's Masters right now, but he's got a Biscuit, so he's gone a bit down the, um, the utility, utility tree. He could be going for CDR, possibly. Definitely, yeah. Um, CDR on TF's really good. You, you can toss out uh, some wild cards pretty quick, and that's a big chunk of his damage. I was looking into it, actually, with the, uh, the Biscuit Mastery. I believe it doesn't actually do all that much. Like, they say it lasts longer. Oh, action happening in top oh, and yeah. bottom lane at the Holy same time. Holy moly, what, what are we doing here? Terrorblow, going really low, but pops the Grandmaster's Might and Leap Strikes out, and I think he's going to be able to survive. The Ignite's not going to be able to tick far enough. No. No. And Botlane's just able to walk away. Yeah. 
And that's what we talked about. Ender can just dash away from the slows after Yeller's stun goes down. Yep. And then what? Catch you later. Catch you later. Oh! Oh, baby truck going in on uh, kittens, kittens here. Though. Taking a lot of damage. Kittens almost up to five stacks as well. Yeah. He's gonna heal a lot next W for sure. You bet your boots. But no, what we were talking, what I was talking about before with the the biscuit mastery, I looked into it and. To my understanding of how it works, it just increases the duration of your pot. It doesn't actually increase the amount of healing you get. It just, like, it would prolong the 150 heal, let's say, okay. of the pot. So I find it interesting. Um, it, however, the, the biscuit does give the mana a right away 20 and 10, as yep. you see on the screen. Yep. But that's about it. That's all you put the point in for. Yeah. As compared to the... Yeah, it's 150 over 15 seconds compared to... Oh, I guess it's the same amount of time for uh, the both of them, but... Like, it, all in all. Oh, and here, Destiny. Destiny coming down. Wretched Soul is uh, stunned up. He had to use his barrier, and now he's he's a goner. Ender picking that one up. Are they going to be able to pick up Yeller? Oh, the and focus on Hilo. Oof. And Hilo flash forward. Talon wild flash. cards, wild cards. Oh, oh, and he picks it up. Hilo, well done. Nice gank down bottom. It was very clean. Very yep, clean. Definitely. Both flashes were burned from Talon and Hilo. But it was worth it. They got both kills. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Richard had to use his barrier. Uh, and oh. oh wow, Hera blow taking down kittens. That's what we talked about. The level six plus Hera on Jax. Scary. You gotta respect. Exactly. Him. Definitely. Especially since he's going strictly damage to start. Yeah, he's vamp sept. Wow, two Dorans and a longsword to help him with what you were saying. He has no innate sustain, right? Yeah. So he needs the vamp, the double Dorans to just heal off every auto. Definitely. And then boom, more yeah. damage. What up? Catch you later. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's going to be building that Vamp Scepter into a uh, Blade of the Rune King, more than likely. Uh, I mean, Bloodthirster possibly, but more than likely Blade of the Rune King works really well with Jax's kit. Or Triforce. Or tri well, Triforce. I don't think Vamp Scepter goes into Triforce. Or, excuse me, no. But the oh, the Longsword. Long longsword, yeah. And there it is. The, yeah. the Cutlass picked up for sure, first item. Yeah. Or done. And yeah, he'll probably be going for a, uh, a Triforce after that. So Possibly. He might... Uh, Wow, Zerker Greaves though. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, like he, he just wants to get those auto attacks off, and I mean, all the power to him. All the empowered to him. All the empowered to him. What's up, Hera? <laughs> How you doing? The only thing I'm worried about though is the case in Snowball, right? And Carrier, we were talking, will he carry this game? Right? Yeah. So, is Harris saying, no, it's fine, I'm not worried about the magic damage from those two, I'm just gonna go Greaves, I'm gonna win my lane, be an unstoppable force. Because mm -hmm. the snowball also decreases attack speed, so... Oh, Kittens! Taking a bit of damage here again! Is he gonna... Yeah, he... Oh, oh the it's... Battle Roar! It saves him, he's good! Hera, in between two and a half waves! Oof, he's taking a lot of minion damage, I can tell you that. That's a lot of sustain he's getting back, though. Yeah, definitely. The The Cutlass is really good for helping him there. It's beating Kitten's uh, sustain, so good on you, Jax. It's at that point where I don't think, uh, in a right situation, Kitten's will not be able to trade with him. Not at the moment, no. Yeah. Maybe once he gets a Sunfire, it D might be a little better. Yeah. But with the sustain from Hera... The stun coming out, the empowered, the Grandmaster's might... Oh, not enough, there. There we go, the battle roar again. That heal is just too high. Yeah. It is it is really... Like, it's a really impressive heal. I think Kins just has to let this tower yeah, go. Yeah, there's... Well, oh, I guess Harry's... Just, Hera's, Hera's walking like, okay, away. it's yours, buddy. Yeah, catch you later, pal. I'm gonna take your jungle. Yep, bye bye Slurp those golems. A lot of, uh... M5 kind of play you see here. Just like what Darian did when they were first on the scene. Push the tower, boom, these devils mine, I'm coming back. Yeah, catch you later. Give me that, like, roughly 80 gold that I can get. Eight. Any advantages and advantages. And the XP. XP and is XP huge. is huge. Oh, wow. Flash being blown by Carrier and oh! and the Shockwave. Carrier uh, zoom, though. Yeah. I, I'm really glad that Baby Trog decided to walk off. Tanking that turret would have been a very bad choice. And they... Uh, Wings of Freedom has a really big lead right now, and a Destiny coming down bottom again! I don't know why we're checking out top, that doesn't seem like a good idea to me, but... I was just uh, gonna mention, Hilo was Oom in the exchange with Carrier. So he pretty much destinyed in with no mana, that's why nothing happened bottom lane. Ah, uh, yes, that makes sense. But their focus is on bottom lane, because they realize, hey, Ender Talon, we need you guys to help us carry this game. Yeah, definitely. 
because as it stands, oh, and Harry's going or Hera's going back in on kittens, but the battle roar, it's just it's too big. Yeah, it's just too much. Yeah. But right now, Wretched Soul and Yeller, they're they're worried about them. Definitely, we're definitely worried because yeah. they're like, hey, Kate's kind of beating me in like thirty farm so far. I'm having a tough time in lane. Give me, give me some help. Give me some help. Give me some help. Get me to the mid game. Yeah, I want to see it. We'll, we'll be good. And here we go, kittens. Less than half health. Hera's full. Yeah. But Hera's realizing, hey, I'm not tanky. Yeah, zero tank. Just, just some damage, some sustain. My ulti, not yeah. enough. Yeah, it's just not enough to save me right now. So he he made the right choice in not deciding to dive. So there you go. All in all, smarter player than I am. <laughs> Aggro all day. Aggro tower one through four. Yeah. I'm always impressed with anyone who can play Jax. I can't play Jax to save my life. He's really strong in the late for sure. Yeah. And he's a lot of fun actually. Like the sounds he makes when he's beating on time. Oh. 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 Give me that. <laughs> oh dear. That's what Jack says, by the way. Yeah. In, in case you haven't played Jax before, he the, the, we're just quoting him. If you spam his taunt, that's eventually what he'll do. Yeah, just go into a, a private game and just try it. I would say ranked. It only works in ranked. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, that's my bad. Ender, though. Oh, Ender getting... Uh, he has to pull his barrier. His flash is up so he can get out, but no, he's good. He's just going to dash away. That's a good call. Definitely. He, there's no point in wasting that flash unless you need to, right? So, Carrier getting a, getting a bit of damage there. They might have been even able to bait it bottom. Talon had his ulti, full mana, exhaust. They were, like, Yeller and Wretched walked right through the wave and a half. Yeah. Huh. Strange. Interesting. And Carrier's oh. getting to the point where he can just clear waves safely. Yeah. He The the deficit in minions is still there. He's still 30, goal, or 30 minions down. But he's going to be able to make that up because Twisted Fate is going to want to go to different lanes. Helo's, uh, oh wow, and that just did a lot of damage to him. Helo Heal force a flash. Flash down, catch you later. Baby Trog's Baby Trog's in. in a lot of trouble here. Carrier low. Shockwave's up, but decide not to use it, and fair choice, really. I think that's what Helo was afraid of. He was afraid of getting Shockwave. He did not want to walk into it. Yeah. And, and Dragon? Yeah, SKT1, scooping up some drag action. It's pretty scary. Carrier is low. However, Baby Trog is low as well. Yeah. But this is a very gutsy dragon from SKT. Definitely. Oh, but they scoop it up. and Carrier scoops it, too. Yeah. If they can make it out, cool. Good for that. Hey, done. Free dragon. Done. However, meanwhile, Hilo in the mid lane. Push the towers like, hey, guys, I'm at the tower. I've got like a wave and a half here. If you want, it's free. Free. The yeah, there you go. Turn it down. Because as we saw, SKT1 rotated bottom to the bot lane for safety from the fight. Yeah. And they're like, hey, we don't want that. No. No, thank you. And Kittens with a Sunfire still can't trade with Hera. Nope, definitely not. Jax is getting to the point. And he, he only has a Cutlass. Yeah, he screams. Exactly. I'm curious to tell how much money he has right now in his uh, pocket. He's got 1850. So that's he, more than enough for a Phage. Yeah, he could definitely scoop up a Phage right now. Or I do believe that's enough to finish the recipe for Bork. Yeah, actually, you're right. It is 1800 once you have your Cutlass, so. He's scary. He's a frightening dude. I believe. And that, maybe that's just what he was looking for. He just wants to get his attack speed down. So he can get... Get some trade a trade action going. Exactly. Yeah, And yeah, he's going B right now. He'll probably scoop that Bork. And good on him, really. And you notice, Hera went back with more than enough for his Bork. So that means he can still get his wards and his pots. Yeah. Which is very important. Super important. And there's a big fight going down here. Yeller taking a lot of damage, and he goes down to Talon. Hilo oh. scoops up the uh, ace in the hole there for Ender. Good call. Uh, he's full HP, so there's no point in letting Ender take that. But he does oh! jump on. Oh! He gets spotted out by the Yordle Snapchat, followed by the Piltover Peacemaker. Ah, uh, bye bye. Oh, what a well played. Yeah. Wretched Soul playing with his life there. Yep. Hilo's Case, in trouble. Yeah, definitely. Hilo. He's looking to do some damage to Ori, and to be fair, he sh he's in a bit of barriers. Ori barriers and oh, oh wow, that would have been almost a return kill. Yeah, definitely. As the, you saw... Oh, oh yeah, no. he's gonna dive. He's gonna do it. Leap strike, done. Bye bye The battle roar's not gonna save you now. I'm Harris sorry. is too strong. He's got his bark now. His, his attack speed's too much. Yeah, it's done. With, like, with a passive, he just puts out way too much damage. Exactly. So yeah. is just proxying, hoping to take that turret. He just wanted to lifesteal so he could walk back through the... Back yeah. to his minions as well. But oh, I guess he's going to golems. So, so much for that. It's... But in the bot lane fight as well... Carrier used his barrier 
carrier used his barrier. He did. However, though, it didn't really mitigate all that much damage. Yes. Maybe a couple autos here and there. But regardless, he lived. Yeah. But it was really close. Definitely. So, well played. These uh these fights are pretty impressive. Uh, Wings of Freedom still up, three kills and about four k gold. So, which is interesting because SKT did get the dragon. Yeah, they did. However, Wings of Freedom is up two towers. They are up to, yeah, two towers right now. They've got three uh, three towers total. So, well, well played, really. That and TF, his pressure on the map is just crazy. He's, Definitely, he's farming benchmark again. Y yep. And he's every time his destiny is up, he's pretty much on the map somewhere. Yeah. Top or bottom. Done. Was he top? Uh, he used it, he used it to get vision on Rengar, so I guess kind right. of he, like a little bit, but not necessarily. Case and just helping up the kitten. Yeah, they're hoping to uh to take this turret, but both this Baby a, Trog and Hera Blower are this there. This is a bad idea yeah. if they try to dive because he lows up. He's got his destiny, and they, his freedom they, just says not yet. Yeah, they back off. So, Kaysen used his absolute zero for no avail. And we see Wings of Freedom bot lane moving into the mid as well. Yeah, they're looking to. Are they push looking it up? to push carrier Oh, carrier! Caught. Oh, but Hilo is also caught here. But oh. the beautiful wild growth saves him. Wow, well done, Talon. And carrier shocks wave. Essentially, kittens and Kaysen, his own team. Oof. If the shockwave would have landed, the CC would have been more than enough, I believe, to pick up Hilo. Yeah. Oh, certainly. Least. Yeah. But unfortunately, sometimes you win, sometimes you skin. Destiny coming in. Yeah, I feel like he, he could have placed that Destiny in a oh! little bit of a better place, but oh, it doesn't matter. They still are able to pick up Wretched Soul. And Hairblow scooping up kittens again. Wow. Good. Harry, you need to realize that kittens aren't the worst. I'm, I'm a dog person myself, <laughs> but... Like, kittens are pretty cool. I, I hung out with some kittens today. Well, they're, they're big cats. So that's cool. Shout out to Tom and Madge. <laughs> so, Wings of Freedom definitely taking control of this game. Yeah, most certainly. Up 5k. 5 kills. Uh, 5 5k, yeah, definitely. Um, Jax is really scary right now. He's He's got his Bork, he's got his Phage. Eh, like, what are you going to do? He's got 170 farm as uh, opposed to Kitten's 126. And so, he's also got 3 kills on him. Yeah. yeah. So Along with 2 Global Towers. Definitely. The, the the gold difference is... 2k. 2k. 2k gold difference. That's huge for, like, person to person. Uh, and now he's running into Kaysen here. Uh, Hairblow? Oh, but he's just gonna put down some damage. Uh... Oh. Kaysen being taken low, but uh, Shockwave used only on Hairblow. To disengage. To, for yeah, sure. for the for the disengage, definitely. And I believe that Hilo used his DFG after his full spell rotation on Kaysen. Ooh, dang. So, if I'm not mistaken, but I believe that might have been enough to pick up Kaysen. Yeah, certainly. But I guess, like, sometimes, sometimes you just forget about your actives. I do that more often than not. More often. Yeah. So we see that Hilo picked up Lich Bane. So the question is, are we going to see a split Hilo or not? Because he also has DFG. So, does GFD to you mean team fight or split push? Uh, I think he can do either right now. Because the, the, the Lich Bane is going to be able to take turrets really fast. Throw out some wild cards, attack, done. Use your pick a card, attack, done. There's crazy amounts of damage being used. So, it, co it could go either way right now, really. It's all up to him. Yeah. Would you say it's in his destiny to choose? <laughs> It, it It is his destiny to choose. <laughs> he knows it's his destiny. Does Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so, uh... <laughs> wing freedom grouping on the bottom side of the map. Yeah. They know the dragon's live. They want it. They want to scoop that up. It's calling up. Calling is up. It can do a lot of damage to uh to monsters. To a Dargan, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeller's like, hey, I got a ward. I'm throwing it down. Uh, yep. Shockwave could be really devastating here, though. Talon got chunked to half. Yeah. Oh, Hairbo jumping on Carrier! And... Can oh, Kaysen! <laughs> Give me that consume! Yeah, well, okay. Oh, oh well! Catch you later, Regid Soul. Oh, unless he... Oh, the oh. 90 caliber net would have been sweet. He would have run into Talon, but it would have just been really beautiful.
That was crazy. Yep. Wretched Soul flashed before the Twisted Events hit. Oh. So Twisted Events followed. Oh, and then Ender's like, hey, I'm with you, baby truck. I'm flashing it too. I give you that. And now, because of that whole team fight and the dragon fight, they're able to pick up tier two bottom. Meanwhile, Chase Kitten's still top line. Yep. It's it's almost like a mirror of uh, of last time when SKT1 were pushing up bottom lane and you had Harablow down uh, down top pushing. Right. There you go. And yeah, we see TF right now. He's doing some split push action. Because he knows that he could take Kittens down. Yep. Oh, he's destinying closer to the minion wave. <laughs> he wanted to make sure that he was safe to at least push the tower. Yeah. I guess, yeah, that's fair, actually. You know, that makes a lot more sense than him just getting close. You know, maybe if I, Yeah, okay, good. No, it's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Don't worry, Hilo, we got you. Yeah, it's all you, Hilo. Proud of you, friend. Because he realizes, hey, my flash is down. I don't have spooky ghosts yet. Or if at all. Yeah, if at all. It's like, uh, yeah, am I safe? I don't, I don't really want to be a part of this. We also saw Jax, uh, like, hair blow, steal the blue buff uh, from the minions. Or from the minions, from uh, SKT1. Uh, but he left the minions. That's the that's what I was getting at. He uh, he left those minions there. Uh, Ori noticed, I believe, and she went to scoop them up. They're gonna have the timer on it though, because uh, Wings of Freedom has it warded, has the blue buff warded. Correct. Yeah. I'm really impressed with how well the Jax pick is working for Hera. Yeah. He's going for just straight damage. Duels. Yep. Just scooping up kittens. That's. Kittens forced to flash. Yeah. Carrier coming in. Is he looking to do anything? Carrier's half mana. Yeah. He can, but that's maybe a spell rotation. And that's about it. Yeah. He yep. does have his Athenes, but is it going to be enough? Exactly. If. If I was Oriana, I mean, she's got she's got the blasting wand as well as the needlessly large rod, so it's going to go into a Rabidons. But I think I would prioritize Azania's at this point, just due to all the single target damage. Like, if Jax jumps on her with Counter-Strike going, she could Zanya's and not worry about being stunned, being um, Grandmaster's might proct or empowered. But at the same time, I guess, uh, Carrier knows that he's not necessarily the number one target. It's going to be... Wretched. Wretched. So. Also, I feel like Carrier needs the damage right now. They're hitting later into the mid-game. And he needs that death cap. He needs a death cap for sure for the team fights because yeah. he's essentially all the AoE they got. Definitely. I mean, Kaysen's big AoE as well. Kitten's kind of. Wretched Soul, sure, maybe. Yeah. Yeller, yeah, okay. Yeah, like he's got AoE, but it's not like. It's not damage AoE, right? And in top, we saw Carrier forced to flash. Yeah, uh, Destiny in. So there you go. But. Carrier realizes, I'm pretty much all the AoE damage on the team. I'm the big AP caster. I need damage right now. Yeah. I, I'm confident in my play that Baby Trog and Hera won't get on me, but, you know. Is there, yeah. Is it going to be enough? I'm really impressed with Hilo's TF. I was glad to see he picked it up, and I'm glad to see it's working for him. He put so much pressure on the map. He snowballed bottom lane, especially. With, yeah. Uh, I do believe it was a double kill to start, and then... Force flash the second time. Yep, it was it was really well done. So, pretty so cool. He put enough pressure on there for Ender in town to get out of the laning phase at least, and just roll on team fights right now. Certainly, like you see Ender there, he's four four one three. Wow, good. He's got his Triforce BF man. He's looking for a bloodthirster. He's doing real. He's doing well for himself. Yeah, all he needs now is his last whisper, and that's huge damage. Yep. We, uh, we seem to have missed Jax picking up his second big ticket item. He's got his Triforce now, so he's going to be... He, he's like, he, as we see, we, he hurts. He doesn't he's tickle, a, that he's fella. He's a scary dude, yeah. yeah. And he also has his Null Magic Mantle, so he's he's not too worried about Carrier or Case and slowing him down either. Exactly. Because I believe all here is going to try to do this game is just focus down Carrier because he's confident that Hilo, Baby Trog, Ender can all get to Wretched. Yep. Because Kittens is just too far at this point compared to Jax. I mean, farm-wise, not at all. No. But in terms of gold and items, yeah. Jax just hurts way more. He's... Yeah, it, it hurts a lot. And, and like, the only uh, the only defense Kittens has right now is his Sunflyer cape, and I guess in turn uh, the Spirit Visage helping him heal, but 
one heal isn't going to help you with a Jax who's going to stick on you. Exactly. But I really like the Caitlyn Oriana pick because they can turtle forever. Oh, forever. Like tilt over Peacemaker followed by a command attack. You're, it's it's I done. I believe dissonance as well. Yeah, yeah. Dis you pop some dissonance there. You're gonna you're gonna take down minion ways. Oh, well, exactly. And we just saw that mid lane like. They played really far up. Oh, Hera Hera though. Oh, oh. oh. He, was looking, case. Yeah, he was looking for a leap strike, too. Onto either Carrier or Wretched Soul, either one. And Dragon's up in 10. Yeah, they they know this, so uh, Wings of Freedom is grouping around it. Up in 5 seconds, they're playing very... Um, excuse me. Uh, objective. Uh, yeah, objective base. There. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Uh, um, now they're just chasing, though. They're going for it. And then disengage though, that the amulet from Yeller just gone. Yeah. Right? The disengage was way too strong. Definitely. Again, uh Talon doesn't pick up uh am or the the ascension, right? He he right does, he he's prior prioritizing ability power. And like more power to him. You do a lot as Lulu with ability power. Oh okay, so and case case scooped. Look but fight Talon's really yeah, though. Hilo or Kittens is jumping on Hilo and he's doing a lot of damage, but Exhaust. It's not enough. Yeah, the exhaust is pulled out. Uh, he was stunned up by the pick a card, and now he's a goner. And he's done. Yeah, Ender picks up the ace in the hole for uh, baby drug there. But Hera, Hera blow going on Yeller. But Yeller really has to flash, but he's going to keep flashes. going. Yeah, Yeller and Wretched really good flashes, but unfortunately, yeah, he's a goner right now. Hera's too quick. Oh. <laughs> done. Oh. oh, oh, wasn't sure if he was going to get oh. the auto. There we go. There we go. The Sander roll popped up. So Hera's like, no, I need this kill yep. before the next pop. <laughs> Done. And that's a 1-1 one, one again. 1-1 one, one again. I, it's uh, it's what we do best, I guess. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very well played by Wings of Freedom. They looked inc like just unstoppable that whole yep, game. Definitely. They... I don't think there was a mistake made from them. Necessarily. Yeah, like, no... no Big giant mistakes, right? Obviously, like here and there, but aside from the dragon steal, yeah, that's not really a mistake for them. That's just it would just Kaysen. consume and case in playing really well, right? Seven oh oh Jax, wow, he knew what he was doing. The Jax was, it, it was just too much. That's what we talked about. He got to the point where he can, like, he was building damage and he was ahead and he was just snowballing that advantage. Yeah, it was good that kittens picked up defensive items though. Definitely. Because, like we talked about, if you're behind and you want to build damage, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah. Not so good. But yeah, their whole team played phenomenal. Like, Hilo on TF. He's 117. But he... His presence on the map was frightening. Definitely. And his farm! He's got 325 farm at 30 and a half minutes. Over the benchmark. <sighs> so not only did he prioritize farm... But he made sure almost every single time his destiny was up, he used it. Whether or not to get vision on top lane or just to put pressure on bottom. Definitely. Really well done, to say the least. Really well played, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So that's that's pretty much all we have for you guys tonight. Yeah. Got some uh, week one action complete, I guess. Week one is all finished. So right now, as it sits, Wings of Freedom, 3-1. SKT one three one. Yep, they did get the the two default wins, day Be one. Because uh, the team dropped out unfortunately, but. But I mean, still they played really really. They, yeah, I I was because we obviously didn't get to see them, uh, play right. So. To say the least, it's it's well done. Yeah, they they definitely came out, wanting to win. <laughs> yeah, so. Great work. It was fantastic for sure. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's, that's all we have planned f to stream for tonight. But Wednesday night, same time, we'll be back streaming the Sask League. Week two, day one. Woo! We're ready. Yep. Call it. So, any last messages? No. Uh, just, I guess, keep up with the, the website, obviously. It's a, it's a good website to check out if you want to know what's going on. It has definitely all the information for teams, stats, who you play next. Um, as well as we'll probably add on who will be streamed, so you guys know in advance. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well played by both teams tonight, for sure. Yeah. Again, a 1-1. One, one. Good. Good work. All right. Until Wednesday night at 9. Good night, pals. See ya.